Welcome back to WWE 2K24, my GM mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, here for the hottest party of the summer, Summer Slam. And three champions cannot work this show. Nakamura, Bailey, and the Queen Charlotte Flair, which means our North American and Women's Champion not working this show. Thankfully, world title, yes. Tag team titles, yes. And that's the way that's going to go. Now, we also did say, hey, LA Knight, gonna work this program. We don't have much in our budget. It's pretty low. So, we said, LA Knight uh, wants an appearance here at the PLE. An appearance. Which to me says, oh, I can put him in a promo. Because again, we can't finish the fight, finish the feud with Nakamura because he can't work the show. I don't think we'll book any four ways on this show. We have to book five matches, so it's just not a thing. And what else we got going on here in terms of we can do interference. No, we're at one. The callouts, maybe. But yeah, it does get a bit rough and Triple H wants a run-in, and the reward is some pre-match physio, which I kind of... whatever, I guess? I don't know. We have Vito Champ, which can use for Monday. So, Paul Heyman, this back and forth continues, even though Regal now, like, even though going into career, Regal should be in second place, I'm pretty sure is the case there. Yes, N NXT is ranked two, but my bitter rival here is indeed Paul Heyman, because he keeps using those power cards on me and everybody else. And somehow, contrary to real life, Paul Heyman has the biggest budget right now, so that's kind of wild. We're gonna veto your champ, Paul. We're doing that, so deal with that beardness. Now then, get schooled. A 30 XP in the ring for someone on the roster. The question is, who in the blue hell should that be? There does not seem to be a way to sort them by their numbers. So 10, 20, 16, 10, 10, 16, 7, 15, 15, 5, 6, 7, 7, 1, 2, 0. Like, I should be able to sort that by their actual in-ring acumen, but apparently not. And obviously, would use that on someone who is a permanent roster member. So I think we'll give that to Mr. L.A. Knight. Yeah, from 10 to 13. Good for him. That does not yet earn him a perk, unfortunately. So we're not quite there yet until we hit 15 to earn a perk. So making an attempt to book my best possible SummerSlam, of course, main evented by Gunta and Braun Breaker for that world title. The thing is, I don't want Breaker winning because he's not a permanent roster guy. So that I might have to make some things happen on that myself. But also, hold on, they're at level one. That's, hmm, interesting, interesting. So sure, for now, we'll do that and we'll open the show with the tag team titles. So, tag team titles on the line. Waller and Wilson defend against Chase and Buck. And we have OK Stamina there for that tag team title matchup. We did have EO Sky at level 3 versus Precious Silver. Could book that one. We have Sami Zayn and Argus the Great. Can book that one. But what is even going to go here? I only have LA Knight and Cameron Grimes and they're both faces. So I could get a cheap jobber one week, that's fine. Could get Grimes on the show and LA Knight, I think, cuts a promo on this. Honestly, continuing the call out business, cause sure, why not? We can call out Nakamura. So that one makes sense, yeah. But yes, over back into uh, Talent Scouts and Braid in the Dark. No, who is the cheapest? Yes, Mr. Well, no, we need a heel. So Rich Orakawa is our heel here. The cheap, cheap heel in Rich 
for a one star match or less. It's look, we're filling up the card. It's important. So there we go. Rich here for a week. And so Cameron Grimes in an exhibition here against Rich. So there we go. Grimes face versus heel. And it's all right, all right, all right. Otherwise, uh, I don't know that I have any option to cut a charity promo. I can only have one promo on the card, and it's a call-out. Because, I don't know, man, look. That makes our show cost very low, but uh, that's not going to be good for our fans and whatever else, because it's been rough. Thanks, but no thanks, Paul Heyman. Like, bruh. And I don't have anybody that can benefit from that health spa card. Now... We have another bad timing, Beginner's Luck, which raises your pot by five. And I know a guy immediately gained two talent scouting points. But again, look at my budget. If I'm under 100k, that's a problem. Like, overall, just a serious issue. So it's like, yeah, I could totally buy this for 50k, and then what? And then what for next week? Like, that's just not going to be good. So, look, it's not... A great SummerSlam, blame Paul Heyman. But more importantly, my understanding is he can't do that one anymore. He gets two of those per season, and that's it. So Paul, enjoy it while you can, because it ain't gonna happen again. SummerSlam, what do we get? What do we got? Tag team titles. It is and still. It was three and a half stars. Great. We got Eo and Silver finishing their fight and their rivalry. It was Eo, the genius of the sky. Three stars. Complete. We got Sammy Zayn and Argus the Great, who's leaving, which is fine, honestly. So Sammy, Sammy, Sammy gets the win. Mediocre. Two stars. Cameron Grimes and Rich Orakawa. And we get the jobber. And it was a star and a half. That's the shocking upset. And then, yes, LA Knight gets that level four, which I guess we're going to do a cage match on Monday if we have the money to do so, and we'll see. It might not be the case, but importantly, I'm playing as Braun Breaker and losing immediately because I need to keep that title on the Ring General Gunta. The important thing to realize is that what actually happens in these matches does not affect the star rating of the matches at all. Oh man, that's familiar. Um, yeah, so you can have a five second match. It's not gonna matter in this because it's just, hey man, here's the gameplay. If you wanna do the gameplay, it's optional. Four stars, amazing. And they're at level two now on their rivalry, which is not what you want for pay-per-view, but hey. Meanwhile, over on the blue brand, Blair and Zoe open the show. It is Zoe Stark. It was three stars, rivalry complete. MVP Austin Theory and Mankind is here as your legend hire on SmackDown and Mankind gets the win. It was two stars, a mediocre. The mid card, Vinci and Creed getting it done here one on one and Giovanni Vinci, three stars, it was good. Katana and Tamina get into it, where is Alexa, who knows? Katana gets the win, two and a half stars. Also, Teddy Long booked a pay-per-view without a single tag team match player. What's up with that? And your main event, Tony and Logan, non-title. And here, a wee ago, it is indeed Tony. It was four stars, amazing, rivalry complete. Over on NXT, Candice and Valhalla, I think finally finish the fight here and make it a win for Valhalla. And it is four stars amazing complete. Kaiser cuts an okay charity promo. The mid card, Mitch and Mia Yim and a jobber. So fighter, bruiser, face, heel, sure, fine. It was Mia Yim with the win. It was two and a half okay. And yet when I have the jobbers, it's a star and a half. I don't get it. Anyhow, level four on that rivalry with, with those two. Triple threat, Balor, Otis, and Jimmy Uso. And Jimmy Uso, new on NXT, gets the win, three and a half stars. And also, Balor and Otis is complete. Wendy Chu, Rhea, Bloody, Ripley, Eradicated. Three stars, it was good. And your main event, Braun Strowman, Dirty Dom, Giant 
Bruiser! It is the Meat Man. It was four stars, complete amazing. And so all those champions sacrificed for this card from Paul Heyman. Finishing the story here with Baszler and Tiffy Time. And Tiffany Stratton is the ultimate winner here in that three and a half complete. Charity from Dijak, it was weak. The mid card, Tim Burr, and bringing in the legend Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for a match. Bruiser, fighter, face, heel. Sure, but why? And Steamboat gets the win. It was two stars mediocre. Tommaso Ciampa calls out Dijak, zero to one. Gigi and Zia Lee, a hundred stamina on Gigi. And as Ayali gets the win, it was three stars. Good. Finished that rivalry. The call out from Hayes to Dijak, who just got called out by wait. Everyone wants to fight Dijak. What? Okay. You can't have two ongoing singles rivalries, you guys. What are you booking Cayman? Give me a bit of that biker taker. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Does Taker bring the bike in this tiny little venue? He does. Imagine that. Did man walking and or driving. But where oh where is Clay Courtman, if you will? Who knows? Did man watching. You don't it now. But we know these tag team matches tend to take forever. So give me a good thumbnail taker and we'll be done with all of this business. Perhaps, maybe, we'll see. Truth and taker, three stars, it was good. And finally, your main event world TV title, Omos Apollo Crews once again simulates. What do we get? Omos still the king of TV and injured for two weeks. Good job, Paul Heyman. He got a little bit too extreme. Four and a half stars. Was it worth it, Paul? Was it worth it? Raw got good. SmackDown got good. NXT got amazing. And ECW got good booking. But your big man is out of action. And so, we did 95,000. And we made 78 in the cash. SmackDown did 101, and they made 81. No way. SmackDown got Mankind? NXT got 108, and they made 61. And good acquisition, NXT. Great choice, picking up Jimmy Uso. And ECW did 115, and made 64. Which does still leave me in the top spot in the ratings, but not by a whole lot. A mere 4,679 fans between myself and Mr. William Regal. But again, I'm heading towards that trophy, which should be, keep me there until they also hit their potential trophies. And then it's just, alright, fans, fans, fans until episode 25 is the current plan. But we'll see how it goes. And now we head into the trade attempts. The proposals here for talent to trade Teddy. Who even on your roster would I be amenable to making a trade for? How much are my guys worth, right? Gunta is 250. Then 230, 245, 205. So Sami Zayn, I think maybe would be a guy to trade here at 240. The question is... For who? And Randy Orton is 230. Now, does the computer look at number one, rivalries, number two, titles, or do they only look at the numbers? Hey, Teddy, give me your world champion. What do you say? There's no way. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Yeah, haha, <laughs> no, playa. What if I tossed in like 20 grand? Like what I said, hey man, Sami Zayn is worth more than Randy Orton, according to this anyway, and I give you like 20 grand. Like, what do you say to that, Teddy Long? Huh? How about it? Nope. Trade declined. You must be nuts. 30 grand and Sami Zayn for your world champion and tag team champion, Randy Orton. What do you say? All right, well, not gonna happen. 
Okay, please stop giving me your garbage trades. 50,000 and Sami Zayn, my final, final offer. Amateur hour. Over on ECW, Omos is obviously injured, but why is R-Truth not able to trade? Like, what happened there? Like, he, did he get hurt? I don't even know. That's weird. But also, like, nobody else I even care enough to go and get on this roster, to be honest. Like, maybe Champa, but even then, eh. I guess I can get Champa, but still, he's... He's 11 and not 16. What about Finn Balor? So Finn Balor is a 16. Finn Balor has 40 stamina. It's still better than Sammy. Uh, and Finn Balor and Finn Balor is one pop below. So this seems like a fair trade, honestly. A very fair trade here, Mr. William Regal. So what if we give you an extra 10K plus Sami Zayn? What is that going to say to you, Mr. William Regal. What do you say? Hey, I made a trade. Accepted. Welcome to Raw Finn Balor. I'm out of trade attempts. We're done though. Buffalo, New York. Adrian Buck is up at the end of his deal. He wants another five weeks for 35k. Let's talk money. Let's lowball you at 24,000. What do you say? 24k. You're a job guy. He took the money. That recent acquisition, Adrian, is doing better than expected. Maybe, with a little push, we have bona fide superstar. Here's a get schooled card for him. Sure, free power card, I'll take it. Bailey is tired of the rumors. She says that Precious Silver is spreading fake rumors about her in the locker room. Had enough of the constant disrespect. But... Uh, you can fight her? No, she's a jobber, and you're going back after the cooldown. You're going back to having a actual proper rivalry here, so no, I'm sorry. Uh, those are your problems. Ding dong, goodbye. And Braun Breaker wants somebody else, and I guess so? We'll see. Small increase. And my shake-up card. All right, so, Steel Cage Fever. Earn 10k fans with a cage match and lose five when you don't have a cage match. Cage matches cost so much money. Who would pick that card ever? Male and female world champs gain 15 pop and are guaranteed to win all the matches while the champ is active. Oh, double your current budget. Yes, give me that. I need that badly. So after this show, we go from 100k to 200k. Yeah. All right. Braun's next fight is not against Gunta. I don't mean it can't be Braun Breaker against Cameron Grimes with a Gunter run-in. Like, look, Braun, I'm going to get around this problem some way, somehow. And if Triple H wants one falls count anywhere matchup, bro, those cost money. We shall see. But that'll be next week, heading towards Fast Lane. I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.